Check it out, Nathan. We've got the brand new GMC Canyon, and it's freaking cold. That's right. It's about five degrees, not counting wind chill. And we tested this last time in sunny California. So we're not going to review it again. <laughs> no, but we are going to take it onto the snow and test out its all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive system in shivering cold Colorado. And that is coming up next on the Fast Line Truck. All right, Nathan, in ski terms, this yeah. is called uh, First Tracks. First Tracks. Yeah, nobody's been out here. It's us, except for the rabbits, of course. So, of course, we are here testing the um, all-wheel drive system of this brand new 2015 GMC Canyon. Yeah, it's, it has an all-wheel drive system with a four-wheel drive system. So you can leave it in auto and it'll select all-wheel drive and then if you really want to go up a steep, nasty hill... Like we're about to try. Like we're about to try, you drop it into four-wheel drive low. Although I think I'm, I'm going to try it with the auto, see what it does. Yeah, it's a pretty steep hill. It is a steep hill, yeah. isn't it? let's give this a shot. Okay, I'm just going to go nice and slow. Yep. Oh, we're going to high center our dude. Oh, we're going to high center, don't go any farther. I think we gotta back up. Now this is the problem with the all-wheel drive system. It doesn't lift the truck up high enough. Oh wait, that's not the system. That's just the fact that there are these silly little steps that are in the way and... Well, to be, to be fair, we've got the long-bodied version. Slow down, slow down. Don't hit those things. I think we're gonna have to go around, dude. Yes, Mom. <laughs> The bottom line is that um, this is this is the Z71. What is this? No, Z5? that's a Chevy. This oh. is a Canyon All Terrain. All Terrain. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. They put on these steps, and when you put steps on any truck, what you do is you lose some of that ground clearance, and that's exactly what we've done. So, unfortunately, that and the fact this is the longest wheelbase you can get, it means that we would high center, and that's just not a good thing. But. Otherwise, the traction system had no problem getting us just the hill. Just right yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, if it wasn't okay. the high center, we would have made it all the way. Oh, I mean, that was a pretty steep hill. That was a very steep hill. Very steep hill. And it's covered in snow. Yeah. I mean, covered, covered in snow. Yeah, so this truck comes with a bunch of cool features. First of all, it has, well, it has the all-terrain package, which includes... Um, we have the sticker right here. Yeah, oh, you're right, Z71 suspension. Oh, oh, I was wrong. I make a lot of mistakes, you all know this, but hey, I didn't make a mistake. Hill time. descent control yep. and all-terrain uh, black wall tires. Um, so it does give us some additional benefits that you may not be able to get uh, in the regular street version. But having said that, ground clearance is key, and this doesn't have a hell of a lot of it. No, it doesn't. And then you look at the front of the vehicle, they have a really low chin... Uh, spoiler. Yeah, it's spoiler. a spoiler. It's for, fuel and it's, for, it's for fuel economy. We know what it's for, but the problem is is that it hangs down so low that it really does affect this vehicle's ability to go off-road without damaging it. If you're going to make an off-road version, you really should have a, a, a delete. It shouldn't just it just shouldn't be there. Yeah, and we could take it off, but it's five degrees outside and it needs tools. It needs tools. And we're not that brave guy, sorry. Yeah, I mean having a like a quick release, a bunch of simple brackets to pop off and so you can lift it, that would have been awesome. But they don't have that. So overall, this truck is very competent. I mean, we've got a few inches of snow, we've got dirt, we've got whoop de doos uh, and... Uh, traction's been really, really good. Yeah, traction's been really, really good. I mean, I like the all-wheel drive, and I've been driving this, Nathan, around in the snow like this, and the one thing I figured out was that in auto mode, right, mm -hmm. you can actually put it in manually in all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive mode, but in auto mode, it does just fine. 
Yeah, it's been doing really good so far. As a matter of fact, one of the things I'm really impressed with was we, we, we screwed around a little bit and took everything off and had it without traction control and did some donuts and had some fun. <laughs> And it still was very usable. I was able to direct it where I needed to go, even though all four wheels were just absolutely flying. So that's a really good system when it gives you that much flexibility where you can have full traction and the computers are helping you or shut them off and you're doing it yourself. One of the cool things about, well, or scary, it depends on who you are, by driving off-road when it snowed, <laughs> you don't know what's under the snow, and unless you've driven it several times. I haven't. Frozen so. Lake! Just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's gonna make that call to General Motors? Sorry. It's underwater! Yeah, we put a truck in. <laughs> it looked like it was uh, It looked snow. okay. Yeah, it looked okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time we did something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but, but all in all, the control's great. I really like the steering feedback, too. I mean, look, it's a truck, but it's actually very mellow inside. I don't feel like there's anything hazardous going on, you know what I mean? No. It feels like I'm driving a crossover. That's actually what it feels like, except for having really good traction ability and some off-road ability. So. And if you didn't look in the back and saw that bed, you'd be driving a crossover. Yeah, exactly. That, that, you that's, couldn't tell. I think General Motors deliberately built this vehicle to be like that. Yeah, and at $38,915, it ain't cheap. <laughs> no, but this is fully, fully featured. This has got every bell and whistle you could possibly want. You know, Nathan, I'm impressed. I think for snow, for dirt roads, this is plenty good. That's right, and if you're serious about going off-road, maybe you should look at a different truck, but I gotta tell you, this thing drives like a car, or at least like a crossover. Yeah, I mean, that is incredible. They have created a whole new class of pickup slash car trucks. If you guys like trucks, you're probably not gonna like this. No, but if you want a vehicle that can haul and at the same time drive like an everyday car, maybe you'd like this. Yeah, it's a really, really interesting way to go down the road feeling like you're driving a crossover and you have a bed right behind you. That's right, baby, but you know what? I gotta give them a kudos because the interior is very warm and comfortable and that's where we should be right now. Yeah, let's get inside. As always, this is Nathan and Roman saying thanks for watching and check out tfltruck.com for more truck news, views, and real world reviews. Let's get inside. Yeah.